But then Lonnie fell into some moral uh, issues, homosexuality. Yeah, he, he struggled with that most of, well, lots of his life. Didn't yeah, he? well, he didn't consider himself a homosexual, yeah. but he certainly fell into that sin. Yeah, and it was his, and it, it was, was periodic. It wasn't like an ongoing, sustained thing, but it was a. It was you know, his previous lifestyle. Was he was bisexual, bisexual before he yeah. became a Christian. Got married early on as a Christian, and was doing really well, and then fell back into this thing. Yeah, and he would come and confess it. Yeah, on his own. It wasn't like he was caught or anything. He would come and confess it, but after about the third or fourth time, uh-huh. over a couple of years, got away. Um, they you know calvary chuck smith basically said no more that's it you're done out of here and so um at that point not only did they get rid of lonnie frisbee but they also got rid of all the gifts of the spirit and later chuck came out with the book you know charismania and you know so i was with lonnie before he died two weeks before he died nobody else was had been with him during the other four years that i knew him but the last couple of weeks people were coming around asking for his mantle his anointing, his, you know, you know, for him to pray for them, he wouldn't pray for one of them because, you know, they had rejected him. He had one guy with him. When we came to Bethel here, you know, you taught us, Bill taught us about the inheritance that we could have and mantles that we could get from people, impartations. I missed it. Like I was with this world oh. leader, a guy who had a commission from God to lead the Jesus movement. Yeah. He was the guy that was the catalyst of the Jesus movement. I mean, he was on the cover of Time magazine twice, Life magazine once. I mean, he was uh, Catherine Coleman had given him her mantle when she died. Benny and Lonnie Frisbee and one other guy. I mean, this was like a, a major all star in the kingdom. Yeah. Paul Kane actually called me out of thirty five hundred people and said I was gonna be part. I was going to play a major role in one of the greatest revivals that the West Coast has ever seen. Wow. This was in 1989. You know, I just got this mantle thing through hunger. You know, it's like, man, I'm going to get this. I'm going to suck it out of the atmosphere. So Kevin's and, praying yeah. like that, and he's he's searching all over the place. How am I going to get this mantle from Lonnie Frisbee for a new Jesus? Movie? It turned out that I was doing a ministry thing in Nevada, California. And at that time, I was also searching out a lot about Lonnie Frisbee, just trying to get some impartation through the research I was doing. Holy. Found out he had started this House of Acts in Novato, California. That's where the House of Acts was? That's where it was. So I went to this church, and beforehand, I said, now, listen, you got to help me find this house. Well, we Googled everything, couldn't find the address. And he's asking around, does anybody know where Lonnie Frisbee was? you know, lived or where the House of Acts ministry was or anything about this Lonnie Frisbee guy. I've been praying for the mantle of Lonnie Frisbee. So I'm there and and I'm lamenting to the leaders, like, I can't find this house. Well, the 70-year-old woman who's sitting on the side, she jumps up and says, I'm not even supposed to be here. I snuck in. And this beautiful 70-year-old woman, Barbara, stands up. And... And I know where the house is because Lonnie lived with me right after he got saved and then started this house of Acts, uh, you know, a few weeks later and then moved there. And so I'll take you there. I'm his art teacher. And in fact, 20 years ago, Lonnie prophesied over me. And he said, Barbara... When you're 70 years old, a man's going to come looking for my mantle. I want you to give it to him. And to a whole generation. More than that, in 1994, right before he died, he came up to visit me in, here in Novato. And when I opened up the door, he pointed at me and he said, listen, when you're 70 years old in 2006, she would, you know, this was in 1994. When, yeah. In 2006, there's going to be a man coming looking for my mantle. And when he comes to look for my mantle, I, you're supposed to give it to him. Wow. For a new Jesus people movement. <clears throat> Imagine the drama. And it's not just for him, but it's for everybody else who wants it. Wow. Yeah. And then she puts the clincher on it. She says, I'm 70 now. That was last year. And so she just prayed over me. 
and just release us and everybody else that was there. I said, Sean, you have to take me and you have to set it up that Barbara would pray over us and release this mantle on us because I don't want Kevin Dedman to get it all. Then she took us to this, took us to the house and I went up and put my hands on the doorpost and sucked out the anointing there. You know, I have Lonnie's easel that he made with his own hands in my art studio. I said, you have that? She said, yes, I have it. And she said, I'm going to give it to you, Keith. And so she shipped the treasure artifact to my house this last week. And when I pulled the box from UPS in the door off of my front porch, I felt the Holy Spirit on the box. And every time I walked by the box, I would get hit by the Holy Spirit. It was the strangest thing. This is an old piece of wood. But somehow, <laughs> the bones live. Somehow, there's residual. <laughs>